Hello students, let us start with exercise 11.1 of chapter 11 constructions. The first question, you need to construct an angle of 90 degrees at the initial point of a given ray and justify the construction. So you have a ray AB, at the initial point A we need to construct an angle of 90 degrees. So how will we do this? Let's get started. With A as my center, I am going to take any length and A as my center, I am going to draw an arc this way such that it cuts AB, this arc cuts AB at some point D. Now without changing this length, I am going to take points, I am going to take D as my center and I am going to cut equal arcs from D to this point then from here and then here. So I have three points out here, I will call it C, E and F. So which are my three points? I have C, I have E and F. So if you notice using A as the center I cut this up, right? And without changing the length, so if this length was AD, AD is equal to DC, is equal to CE, is equal to EF, is equal to FA. Now what I am going to do is, I am going to join AC. And also I am going to join AE. Now what we are going to do is we are going to draw the angle bisector of EAC. So you already have an arc over here, right? We learned how to draw the angle bisector. So I am drawing the angle bisector of EAC. I will call this point, let us say M and I will join M to A. This angle here, MAB is 90 degrees. So this is the construction. We will go about writing the construction and then we will also justify it. Okay. So construction steps. First, you draw your initial ray AB. Draw a ray AB with initial point A using any length. And A as center. Draw an arc such that it cuts AB at point D. Now without changing this length, what you are going to do is through D, you are going to cut an arc C on the arc, then th through C you are going to cut this arc at E and F. Without changing the length, cut equal arcs at points D, E, at points E, C and F on the arc in step 2, right? Once done, what you are going to do is you are going to join AC and AE. Then draw the bisector of angle EAC. 
draw AM as the angle bisector of angle EAC. So, how are we going to prove that? So, first of all, uh, let's just write therefore angle MAB is equal to 90 degrees. So, now how are we going to prove that this angle is 90 degrees that is angle MAB is equal to 90 degrees. If you notice DC is equal to CE is equal to EF because we have cut equal arcs on this arc right. So, this angle DAC let me write that down for you angle DAC is equal to angle CAE is equal to angle EAF. Why? Because equal arcs subtend equal angle at the center. A is the center and this is the uh, circle, part of the circle. These are equal arcs DC, CE and EF. Therefore, angles at the center C, DAC is equal to CAE is equal to EAF. Right? But when you add these three angles, what do you get? 180 degrees. So, let's start writing the proof here itself. Arc. So, I'll say, see, this is the denotion for arc, right? So, I'll say DC, arc DC is equal to arc CE is equal to arc EF. Therefore, angle DAC is equal to angle CAE is equal to angle EAF equal arc subtend equal angles at the center. Let us mark this as 1, but when you add these 3 angles DAC, CAE and EAF you get 180 degrees degrees to the through the linear pair axiom right. So, I will say but angle DAC plus angle CAE plus angle EAF is 180 degrees through linear pair axiom. Let us mark this as 2. So, from 1 and 2 you can substitute any one angle here. See for 90 degrees we need DAC, we need a part of DAC right. So, I will say thrice of DAC is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, 3 times DAC. Why? Because if I substitute DAC for CAE and EAF because all 3 are equal, I will get DAC plus DAC plus DAC which is thrice of DAC is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, DAC will be 180 degrees divided by 3 which is 60 degrees. Angle DAC is equal to 60 degrees. So, now for angle DAM we have found DAC which is 60 degrees. We need to show that this angle out here is how much 30 degrees. So, how will we prove this? See we got DAC is equal to 60 degrees. Therefore, which angle CAE will also be 60 degrees using 1 right. Therefore, so let us mark this as 3. Therefore, angle CAE is equal to how much? 60 degrees using 1 and 3. But what do we have? We have AM is the bisector of angle CAE. Therefore, CAM is half of CAE which is half of 60 degrees which is 30 degrees. Right? But angle C CAM is equal to half angle CAE since MA or AM bisects angle CAE. Therefore, angle CAM is equal to half into 60 degrees half of 60 is what? 30 degrees. 
let's mark this as 4 so when you add 3 and 4 what do you get adding 3 and 4 I get angle DAC plus angle CAM is equal to 60 degrees plus 30 degrees right when equals are added to equals the holes are equal so I am adding equals to equals so DAC plus CAM DAC plus CAM is angle MAD and 60 plus 30 is 90 degrees now MAD is the same as MAB because D lies on the line segment AB or ray AB hence we have proved that angle MAB is 90 degrees please take a look Thank you for watching this video. Hope this video increased your knowledge. For more such videos and a completely free educational content, log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our Epathshala YouTube channel. We have each and every question solved for maths, physics, chemistry and biology. So subscribe our channel, share with your friends, like our Facebook page and follow our Twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win Epathshala goodies. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.